Is Trello getting greedy? All right, look, I know there are a lot of people who are really not happy with some of the changes that Trello has recently announced to their free plan, specifically when it comes to limiting the number of collaborators you can have in a free workspace. Look, I understand going from a free workspace with a lot of collaborators to then having to upgrade that workspace, it's gonna make a big difference to your bottom line. I understand, but you do have to keep in mind that you know, Trello is a business too. And the very fact that you've been able to do what you've been doing for so long in the free plan, in my opinion, that just shows how not greedy they actually are. But it's a smart business move for them to take something like that that is so necessary to so many and move it behind the paywall. But I don't think that if you're in a situation where you can't afford to upgrade at this time, that means that you necessarily need to jump ship and go to another platform. Keep in mind, no platform is perfect. So you may find a platform that is still free for you to use with all of your collaborators, but it may not give you as much functionality as you're getting right now with Trello. So maybe you just need to get a little creative. Hint, crossboard automations are gonna be your friend. I'll post a link above to show you what I mean, okay? But if you've decided for whatever reason that you are done with Trello and it's just time to move on, I get it. So let me show you how you can transfer your existing Trello boards into your new platform without having to export all of your Trello boards and then import them into something else. So we're gonna be using today a tool called Zapier, which we've talked about a few times here on the channel, and I'm gonna show you how you can use that to actually transfer your board and all of its information from Trello into, it, for our example, Notion. So stick around. So to start with, we're going to be using Zapier for this connection. Um, so let's go into Zapier first. And we're just gonna go ahead and start by creating a Zap. And because we already know what we're doing, we're gonna skip this um, AI component and just go straight to the trigger. Starting in Trello, what we're actually gonna do here is choose when a new card is added and hit continue. Our Trello board is already connected, our account, but if your account is not, then you will need to log in through there. And then um, we're only gonna be doing this for one particular board for this testing purpose. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and find that board. And then we don't care about which list, we're gonna go ahead and let it be any of the lists on this board. So we'll hit continue. It's gonna and test. I don't know if it's gonna find anything recent because I don't actively use this board, so it might need me to go and create one. Nope, okay, it's found one. So we'll go ahead and let it use this test record. And then we're gonna be moving this over to Notion, right? So let's go ahead and search for Notion in the Zapier apps. And the event we want is for it to create a database item. We'll hit continue. We're gonna link our account. And then hit continue. And then here's where we need to choose the right database. So you can see here, while the board is called TSA Content Planning, the database is the TSA YouTube Planner. And just to show you, real quick how many records are already here we have 11 here so when we finish this transfer you'll see this number is going to go way up so let's go back to zapier we're going to choose our uh, database and then we're going to go ahead and refresh fields because i'm not seeing all the fields that we're expecting to see here there we go so um Really, the only ones I'm going to focus on for this is going to be the name and then the content of that database. You can see here I have a bunch of other questions that you probably don't see, and that's because these are the different columns that I have in my database. But because that's not relevant 
to what you guys are going to have. We're just going to go with the basic fields, the ones that you're going to want to make sure that you fill in. And then if you have any of your own custom fields, feel free to map those as you go. So we're going to go ahead with the name of the database item, which I want to match the name of the card in Trello. And then we're going to just scroll past all these custom fields and I'm going to go ahead with content. And for this, I'm going to be just using the description on um, the Trello card because that is where I put the content and I want that to move over. This is where I write my description for the video and I want that to come over as the um, content on the database. Now, remember, if you do want to map more than one thing here, you can. Just make sure that you click into this box and add spaces, punctuation, or line breaks as needed um, so that it keeps it clean. Okay. But I only have the one thing, so I'm not going to worry about doing that. Um, but then we're going to go ahead with content format. And here you can just have it be plain text. Or if you want to try to keep the uh, formatting that you have in Trello, you're going to choose markdown. And then we'll hit continue. And then it's going to go ahead and do a test step. And it's going to be creating this long form video template. When we click into it here, you can see all these are empty because we didn't map them, but it mapped the name and it also brought the description over with the formatting that it has on the Trello side. So let me just show you what that looks like real quick. So you can see that they do in fact match me like, but this is just one record and I don't want to have to do this for every single record. Of course not. Nobody wants to have to do that. So from here, we're going to go ahead and publish because we set up this automation correctly. And we just got this lovely little option here now where it says transfer existing data. So we're going to click on that. And I just want to note really quick here, it's really important that the trigger that you choose for this automation is a, a new card being created on Trello. Because if you don't choose that option, if you choose like an activity update or card update, it will not give you this transfer option. Okay, so that was really, really important. But now we're going to see it's loading in all of the cards that we already have on the Trello side. It's gonna take a minute because there's a fair amount of cards on there. So we actually had a hundred records come over. They look really spaced out because they have the long descriptions, okay? So, but they are here. Do keep in mind though, this is going to up, um, this is going to eat through some of your tasks. So just be aware of that. Like you're gonna to have to space this out a little bit as you make your transfer over. We'll get down to the bottom here. We're gonna go ahead and hit next. We're saying, yes, we want it to go from Trello over to Notion. Oh, see, and because this is a free account I'm in, we do not have enough tasks to complete this transfer. So I'm gonna go ahead and go back. We won't do all of them. Let's just go ahead and do a handful of them so that you can see what I'm talking about. So we're gonna grab just a few of them. So we just grabbed five of them. So over here, you can see we've got 12. So we're gonna be expecting to see 17 when we're all done here, okay? So scroll down to the bottom. Oh, and let's actually hide some columns because we only mapped a couple things, right? So we don't want to see, we don't wanna use up bandwidth on all these extra things, right? So we're just gonna pull over the name and description. That's all we mapped. So go ahead and hit apply. And then again, we've got five selected. So we're going to go down to the bottom and hit next. And it's going to send them over. So like I said, you may need to upgrade your Zapier for a month or so if you're going to be transferring a whole lot of stuff. Um, but then, you know, you can go ahead and cancel Zapier if you don't need the, pay the paid uh, plan anymore. So we're going to hit send data. And we're gonna, let's go ahead and view the progress just so we can see where it's at in the process. Okay, so it looks like it has done all of these things. So let's go over to Notion now. And we'll close this out. You could just see those all came in over here. So those all just got added. So we are now at 17. We have all of these new 
um, database items that came over and let's go ahead and click into one of them so that we can see that the description mapped over as well and it did. Pretty cool, right? So if you're gonna give this a shot, let me know in the comments because I wanna hear where you've decided to go instead of staying with Trello. The online tools for your business do not need to be complicated or overwhelming. It's time to let it be easy.